I think I know how I'm gonna just what is going on right I'm now. I'm just getting antsy. So we got antsiness. I was just about to start off with I think I found out why we lost the last game. Go on. My arm rests were too low. <laughs> so I used my clutch chair to move up my armrests, get nice and high, to give me more support for my shoulders and my elbows, keep the control a little bit closer to my heart. It's funny because uh, we all have our own special ways that we like to say when we game. Uh, when I'm gaming at home, I have to be lying down on my stomach. Can't, can't play on my stomach. Have to play on my stomach. Can't do it. Can't be seated. No, like, I, I, I do the sit back, and then sometimes I got to get like the, if I get intense, it's like a sit up. Lean in. Like one of these. You know what I mean? Like way back playback when we were kids playing COD together. Completely vertical or I horizontal. Sorry, don't know how somebody can play like that. Have to be craziness. Yeah, that's your beginning, guys. Millennial Man Cave. Your boys are back in the house, looking for a better outing this time. You can see Austin Matthews. I'm just pissed off. Something. Now leading the team in points. Getting in there. The chef does not care about apparently anything else but playing a game right now. So we'll get right into that. Your boy Jeff looks like Dasher Demko might be getting the start, uh, or or somebody's injured on the goal. No, side. Demko's up. Dem well, no, he's up, but Demko could be injured and somebody else could be up, lowering the overall. Crow? But it's likely that Demko's probably getting the backup start. That's fine. I'll, uh, you know, let's see what we bought. I think we um, we make this bit of an interesting game because you alluded to at the end of the last episode that a couple pieces You'll see them. are going to be noticed here on this team. So we'll have to see who's going to come out with a bigger game here. We're on the road, too. Oh, there's one. There's piece number one. Shane got this Gottesperheri. He was one of the major pieces. Got this Gottesperheri. So, I believe, yep, that's Demko. That's Demko, big boy. I like what I see so far. Staying square to the shooter. Oh, my lord. Oh! Oh, he's trying the jam play. Tried the jam. Is that Jake Allen? Pretty sure it's Jake Allen. It might be. That might be the second big piece. The... I think it is. Because I'm pretty sure we got Demko from this team. Oh! Wow. All right, boys. Come on, I want to see just, some good just... defense out here tonight. I want to see some better effort. Get there. Get I'm there. Uh, that boy, Matthews. Making the quick play. -na 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 -na. Oh, oh, that's, that's a, nice. That, and that's definitely um, Allen because I rec recognize the pads. I was going to say, well, you recognize the uh, equipment pads. The horrible place in the corner? That too. Let's see, if that was us, he would have kicked that back out in the slot. Okay. Boom. There we go. There we go. We got boot. Now nah, break out. How does Brock Bozier knock me off the puck? Uh, there's another former piece of ours. Yeah. I miss Brock. Killing it in real life, though. Oh, he's... Oh, my lord. Absolutely destroyed. He's one of the light, like, highlights for Vancouver for me. Well, it's like him, Horvat's having a relatively good year again. Yeah. I mean, the Sedins... Well, Sven it's... Barshi's had a revolution in coming over from it's Calgary. It's been very interest interesting to see, kind of... How Berchi's career has been kind of taken off of it. Yep. You know, he's getting some points now. He's scoring a little bit more. Like, I think now he's starting to become a legitimate NHLer. Versus kind of the question marks that, you know, came across with him when he first came into the league. In Calgary? I think he had too high of expectations. Yeah, yeah. No, right they, the they, they, they felt like he was going to be like a top 10 scorer. Like, yep. no. You got to relax. That's not always how players end up. You know, I think a great example of that would be like a, a Nazem Kadri. You know, oh. uh, a lot of Leaf fans thought when they drafted him, this guy dominated in London in the OHL. He's going to be a beast when he comes to NHL. He's going to be like a top 15-point guy every year. Like, no. That's not how every first-round pick turns out. If you can get, like, if, just a regular top six guy. If you can get somebody who can play in your succeed. lineup on a consistent basis, that's already a win. Yep. Now, if you can get a guy like Kadri now, who has a role and can consistently put up now about 50, 60 points, you're laughing. Because yes, he brings some grit to that position as well. Oh, God, no. How did that even bounce off the post straight out to him like that? Is that Eric Carlson? I don't know who it is, but I'm getting pissed off. Uh, uh, Louis Erickson. Yeah, I was going to say. <sighs> that guy should be retired, too. I know. Like, right now, weirdly enough, it feels like uh, Vancouver's kind of becoming like the old man's home. They got Thomas Vanek out there. Yeah. Louis well, Erickson. they're doing what the Leafs did like three years they back. They got the Sedins. Like, Get Leafs there. just had a bunch of one years. Oh, oh, come on. We know you're not that good, Alan. We know you're not that good. I might be okay to move Boyle this year. Or is that the... Uh... I just want to get a little more speed on this bottom line. Okay. Oh! oh! In what world? Yeah, LA's on fire. 20 wins? Kidding me right now? Whew. Maybe we uh, talk about an 
a name that we discussed. Go ahead. In a previous episode, maybe a little Charlie McAvoy. Charlie. Go on. I've been a fan. Yeah, but that's that's not re- really a center that's going to rectify our stuff. Not a center, but work a deal with the center. Now, who would you uh... move from the defense? Yeah, Morrissey. Really? Yeah, I can make that deal. Whoo! Well, you gotta give something, get something. I, you know, I can appreciate that. You got some official trade talk here, guys. Look at this. Chef Tom and I aren't even waiting to get, give you guys a surprise. We're talking names. We're talking potential deals. Oh, oh my mama! God. Like I've noticed the AI right now, and I know there's been. Oh man! Oh yeah! I enjoyed that one, buddy. That's Kreider too. That's a big boy. Kalorn's jumping in for. Not to say that Kalorn's a small guy by any means. He's he comes in his own. But Kreider is that kind of guy where he will punch your face in. Come on, let's want to fight. We haven't won a fight in God knows how long. Come on, Kreider. Ah! Come on, Kreider. Yeah. See, it makes you think it's over. Then you stop fighting, and he throws the last punch. Ha! <sighs> fake news it's okay i was okay with that hit that was a big that was clean too not even two minute penalty of course it was his head was just down over the the blue line that's a good play Kreider. Do there that's a good play okay boys let's get it in here let's get it in here oh okay there we go a little poke is that dustin brown i saw okay i was gonna say oh, oh, <laughs> that Allen. is jake allen at its finest boom yeah you know what Let's start, t- let's start playing the body. How's a... I like it. Let the bodies hit the fluff. Let nice. the bo- we just going that way? Yeah. Yeah. I don't typically listen to that music, guys, but, you know. You know. Give me that. Let's be honest. That was all of our workout songs. That song that song resides with people. Resides with people. Actually, I want to say it was on the Punisher movie. Uh, Maybe. Wasn't it? Like the uh, Thomas Jane one? If you guys have not seen the Netflix series Punisher... My God! I'm pretty sure I told you. Oh my! Yeah, but you don't have to watch Daredevil. I'm sorry. Well, you, you didn't have to. There's references to it. There is. But I, mean, I don't know enough of the rest of the series. I, I cannot wait for season two. Well, Alan and I right now are like, you know, we started watching it before Pittsburgh. Then we went to Pittsburgh. Then it's been tied up. Then we've been all you know crazy busy with all the stuff we got going on with all the weddings and blah 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 blah. So we haven't had a chance to pick it back up. So Meanwhile, I, think, I just binged it. Well, you've been off for the week. Come on, man. <laughs> Help me out here. Help me out here. We're, um, you know, we're due to pick that back up. I think, like I said, we're up about episode three or four. So what was the last thing you remember? Uh, spoiler alert. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we dropped spoilers. We'll have to talk this one uh, off, off, offline. Okay. We'll get there. Okay. But I think, yeah, I'm, I'm about, we're either on episode four or on episode five. I'm on episode 13. It's a 13 episode season, so I have to go finish it either tonight or tomorrow we'll see so we're somewhere along those lines also and this was actually a fun piece that we were talking about with uh with drew um our designer on sunday at your party was about uh the whole superhero spick we're so behind in our superhero movies as well so i think obviously you guys oh yeah, buddy. clean it up first line again coming through the clutch <sighs> we talked about this uh i think episodes past yeah. They know that we are the DC Marvel guys. We love our, our superhero movies. I contemplate wearing a Batman shirt today. That stuff. And, um, you know, I'm specifically a DC guy. I love them, but I don't push off Marvel at all. No, you, you got to play both sides. I, I do love both sides. I love what they've been doing. Um, you know, for me, I know a lot of people complain. They're like, oh, it doesn't follow the comics, blah, 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 blah. I know sometimes it's a pain in the butt. But just enjoy the fact that right now, being alive, we get to see these Some awesome of the movies. Best. You know, hundreds of million dollars being put into these. And it's great. Like, it's awesome. Because I feel like for the longest time, it was never being portrayed or it wasn't done well. A lot of the TV show ones haven't been successful. So to be able to catch all these movies right now, you know, getting some good actors playing the parts. Yeah. And all that jazz. Oh. So uh, I'm currently behind on Thor Ragnarok. Me too. Uh, I still got to catch up on Spider-Man Homecoming. Me too. And uh, most League. recently Justice League, which is huge for me because I'm the Superman guy first. Yeah, you prefer... So that one kind of hurts me that I haven't seen it yet. Because Superman, when Man of Steel came out, I bought tickets the week before to go see it on opening night. Uh, I just remember you the whole, like, as the movie was starting, just being like, oh! Yeah. Midnight screening, right? Yeah. Me, you, and uh, Lefty went to go watch it. You scared kids in, like, the third row. Then, no, actually, no, I saw it with, uh, I saw it with Atlanta, but me, you, and Lefty saw the trailer for that one when we went to go see Batman. 
That's what it was. Yes. The Dark Knight Rises. Yes. Which was phenomenal. Oh, what an awesome experience that was. Yeah, and Christian I'm so Bale, glad we got to share that together. Christian Bale, I'm sorry, has been the best Batman. So, with that being said, uh, we caught that. I got tickets immediately oh! for Man of Steel. Went to the midnight uh, thing. Then when Dawn of Justice came out, bought those two weeks early to go catch that one. Again, same thing. Like, midnight screening up until like 3 a.m. at the movies. Watch that shit. And now here I was, Justice League, didn't get to see it. Unfortunately, it came out on the Friday when we left for Pittsburgh. We left a Saturday morning at 4 a.m., so there was no chance <laughs> in hell I was going to be going to see any movies the night before. But, uh, yeah, so that's a little project that Chef Tom and I have to have. Maybe here through the, through the holidays. If we get a little bit extra time off I'll get work. The, get the wives together. Start getting the wives to start uh, catching us up. We are due, we said, for our uh, our cousinly hangout time with the wives. Oh. I talked to Joe about that one, too. On, at the party, I'm like, Joe, we're due. <laughs> and she's like, I know. We'll start planning. And guys, to let you guys know, just so you guys truly know how big a gamers Chef Tom and I are, even with the wives, or soon to be wives, yeah. our nights are usually good eats, some good uh, beverages, and then gaming. And games. Oh, now, whether it's like PlayStation or board games or good card games, some of our favorites, um, uh, God, what's it called? Uh, exploding, uh, exploding kittens. kittens. You guys can catch that one on Amazon. That is a really, really fun game. Um, what's a couple other games we played? Exploding kittens. Exploding uh, kittens. We play. Uh, what's the one where um, can't use words? There's a timer. Oh, taboo. Taboo. We've done taboo. Taboo. And it gets vicious. Oh yeah. There's no filters. Oh yeah. Like I think uh, we've done charades, like the Elven Generates. Ex yeah, exploding kittens has probably taken the uh, the biggest. Like I feel like there's everybody hates each other by the end of that night. But, uh, fun again, nonetheless. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, he just got you stopped up there. There we go. Cannon. Oh, my Lord, Jake Allen. Get out of here. Oh, I thought I could get that off. Oh, get in there, Matthews. Let's go, boys. I like what I'm seeing right First now. First line is doing it. They're battling back. Oh, Dvorak. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Switch it up. And uh, what are the games we have? So on the PlayStation side, oh, uh, Dead Jack by, in the Box, Dead by Daylight, De Dead by Daylight, Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box. So can we talk about Dead by Daylight for a second? Yep. Really good game, guys. Awesome. Uh, very similar to Friday the Thirteenth. Yep. But uh, original PC game only. Yeah. And yeah. then it just was well received. Oh boy. And they have a nice little spread of the kind of uh, hero sla or villains. villains you can use. Michael. Yeah, Leatherface. Really cool additions. Freddy. Freddy just came out. Yeah. Phenomenal. Actually, I'm really excited for us to hang out again. Yeah, I, I want to try the games. You have to see Freddy. Or try the other new guys. But uh, shout outs to Jolene, Chef's, uh, <laughs> Chef's fiance, who is an absolute <laughs> boss yeah, at Dead by it. Daylight. She kills it. Absolute boss. Like, guys, I we... we How's that not interfering? Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Not a chance. Not during story time. Not a chance. Not during story time. No, because we win during story time. <laughs> He got literally ran by two guys, his former teammates. There we go. They called it right that time. Well time. They called it right. I like the hit. 17 to 8. We're picking up our offense. We're throwing the defense around. Throwing some physicality. That's what I like, we like it. to see. I like it. It's a good game. This feels better than the game against Chicago. Yeah, I do. I feel more comfortable right now. I like what the boys are bringing out on the road. Yep. I expected more at home, though. Against a better team, too. Yep. Anyways. Yeah, Joe, uh, if you guys ever see us online... She uh she will actually lead the charge and be like, hey, what are we doing tonight? I'm like, I don't know. We'll be like, okay, let's dead by daylight. Hondo. And she'll just clean house. Full boss mode. Like, Joe and Tom taught me how to play. Because I, I only played Friday the 13th. So the first time we went over to Chef Tom's place to play it, I was in learning mode. And, like, the guy falls ass backwards into the fucking latch. And Joe's giving me, like, tips and stuff. And, yeah, so if you guys don't know the game, you essentially have to, you know, get out of the play park that you're going to get killed in. Yep. Hide. Do the little stuff that kind of helps you get out. I was the last person alive. The latch unlocks, which is like the only, one of the ways you can escape. And you have to find it. And not the easiest thing to do. And Jeff just falls ass backwards into I it. I literally was walking around all of a sudden. Press X to open latch. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. Guy. Get there. Get on Ugh. the horse. Get on the horse. Oh, I was man. passing that. Ugh. That's a big hit. Guys, now we're getting to that intense part of the game. See, story time always leads to interesting situations. Always leads to, like, good intense play. In-game. Crider, Crider, make that play. Yeah, buddy. I thought for sure I was going to skate over it and walk away. So glad he came through. 
Oh. 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 oh! oh! He just couldn't get to it, man. I just had to crowdle it a second earlier. Play around. Oh, boy, Browner. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! My momentum. I was I was on backhand. There was no way that pass was going to get through. I was trying to get back to my forehand. Either toss it around the back. Oh, oh, oh. Demko. Hold the four, buddy. Get there, Konechki. This is a line I want to see more from right I now. I know. I'm a little unimpressed. Get there. Oh, my God, Booch. I was looking at Flip. I was looking at Flip Bennett. Because I don't think... I think he's the piece that's really dragging this line. So, let's go see where... That's Mac a power play! Let's go see where McAvoy is. See what they have there. Those pieces. Doing the Codger cards. We're throwing it back. NHL 17. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> you may see some more changes coming up after this episode. Because Chef Tom and I, we just never want to stop getting better. And sometimes, like Chef Tom said, you got to give up good to get good. And sometimes you got to make the sacrifices. Oh, God! Oh, my Lord. Just Oh, I, went, I went full, like, NHL, was it, like, 12? Poke checks. <laughs> Comment below if you guys remember when, like, I think it was NHL, it was the one that Eric Stahl was on. I'm pretty sure it was 12. Yeah, it's a clapper over the line, and, and it, then just poke check. And it was, like, the first NHL on PS3. That also had AI. That came out, yeah. The whole AI learning situation, all that stuff. So that first game, I remember they made it so hard off release... That Chef Tom and I found a glitch in the game that any time a goalie went down to go make a save after you shot it on net, if you poke checked, he would put it in his own net. So that, oh! was, that was a fun little feature. It's like every time, over the blue line, slap shot, goalie goes down, just give pokes her. for days. Give her. R1 all day. If you guys remember that, comment below. That was a fun one. They patched that out pretty quick though. Yeah, they had to. There were so many glitch goals back in the day on those. Like the cut in over the circle and just take a yep. quick snapper. Always. That almost always went in! Oh, oh Alan. I think what they did in this game also actually is... Oh, Are you kidding me right now? What they did in this game is uh, they removed the... Uh, the uh, Who was it? Left or forehand backhand deke? Who was yeah. it? I used to score on that all the time. Ah! Oh. oh, he's backpedaling into the net. Who was infamous for that? There's a lot of guys who use it. But like, I'm not saying in the NHL, but like, I'm saying real life NHL. Who was yeah. the forehand backhand deke? A lot of guys. JVR used the backhand forehand. JVR was the guy. Was uh, there's a couple guys who used it. Just like, a qu it's a quick move, right? Robert Reichel was always the uh, slap shot oh, over the, the line. Slap bomb. As a Leaf fan, that was actually one of the most terrible things I've ever seen. Like, who does that, man? Who does that? Trying to buy you some space. What? Okay. Uh, so that gaff almost ended up on a two-on-one with a guy who just came out of the box. Yeah. Thank God it was a defenseman. I believe that was just in the box. I think it was Dumoulin. Okay, go Mitch. Go Mitch. Wheel him. I'm not going to He's a that. little tired. Uh! Oh, Mitch, he's, he's testing him. We, I, I want to say we've pestered Allen all game. I agree. We've been in his face. I agree. I, I like where uh, Bergman's set up right now. I kind of wish that was Borgman, the current Maple Leafs defender. I, initially, originally, we thought when we acquired him, it was. I'll be honest with you. Because you know what? We missed it in the, the update. We started this before the, uh, yeah. the Leaf rookies came in, like Rosen and stuff. So they wouldn't be in the game until they played their first NHL game. Oh, oh. Uh, Which, for the sake of the NHL PA, I get it. You got to protect the players and their uh, their rights. There we go. There we go. We got five minutes left. This is going to be a nail biter, guys. Oh. And Allen is just. Where was this with us? I was. You literally took the words Come right on. off my lips. Come on. We never got that kind of play from Allen. God, we're going like side to side. Allen East also to West? only played one game with us, but still. This is true. That's besides the fact. Actually, do we? I think we sinned some games. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we did. That's not what we need. Really? We uh, sinned games, we and he had like a, like a what? Like a five goals against? He had like a four three, point something? seven. Under 900 save percentage for sure. Yeah, it was under, it was like eight. Oh. eight. Go, Tommy! i try to get Bushi up there. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No! Oh, not the controller. Not the controller. No! Oh. No! Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We got to play smart here. Oh, nice stop, Demko. Nice stop. I see Boosh. Okay, hold on. I, I'm, I'm supporting with Tom here. Shoot it! Oh. Why did I have to go straight up and not out to you in the corner? Uh. Oh, there we go. Good, uh... Good little yeah, time. Yeah, I got to change the forwards. 
Oh, Kay. that's not, nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, we got Helmer out here. Send Helmer! Oh, come on! Not a chance he stopped that. That's so bad. Oh! Ah. Okay, we're keeping the outside. Keeping the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Oh, no, Morsi. Morsi, you gotta get goal side there, buddy. That's it, good block. Okay, let's get the... Uh, Defense off. Yeah, <laughs> let's get them... Let's get some fresh legs. Get in there, Konechki. Boom! Oh, boy! Oh, come on, man. Come on, Naz. You know I love you, but you can't be playing me like that right now. Can't be doing it. God. Boom! That's a nice one. Oh! Nope, nope. Oh. Good job, boys. That's it. Okay, guys. Time to turn us around now. We got 50 seconds. 50. Oh! Oh, come on! Chara, you... You should be retired. I know. Find something. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, good... Come on, Larkin. Picks the pocket. Get away from me, Zedano. Ugh. Oh. oh. Okay, it's got to be ice. No icing? No, that was... Uh... He poke-checked it. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. He's here. Not making that play. Not making that okay. play at all. 26 seconds, guys. This one could be going <sighs> overtime. My God. Wow. Wow. This no. one, this one really hit that turning point. See, we had a we had a great chat this episode, and uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we catch ourselves in a close one. Oh my god! And I change players. Oh my lord! Okay, play good D, play good D. Oh man, if that went in counter. Okay, I pushed oh. past like five times. I don't know if you heard me doing it. It's okay. Don't, don't take more shots on them that we need. We're warming him <laughs> up. We're making sure he's ready. So where are we at right now? 29 shots to 20. 27 hits to 13. We picked it up. That's what we we're, asked for the boys. We're playing more of our game. Now, I don't want to see us go into shootout. No. Shootouts have not been pleasant for us. But, but we're also starting Demko instead. But three on three. So we got to play uh, smart two-way hockey coach. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Matthews. Austin. Nope. Nope. Oh uh, boy, Demko, it's a big save. Got to turn around now. Okay, touch passes. Get in there, Matthews. Get in there, Matthews. Get. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. Not my bottle, bud. Oh. Not my bottle. Oh. Just, 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 just one of these. Don't take out the green screen. Don't take out the green screen. We've seen that before in WWE. We've seen it before. Let's just watch this highlight. Oh man, what a play. What a play. Suck on that, Ellen. Suck on that. Is that Matthews with two points again tonight? I think so. Yep. He might be for. He's, he's probably first start. Yeah, no. You know what, Allen? You can blow a goal. Jake Allen, but Matthews two points, two hits too. That's leading by example there. Wait, why doesn't Demko get no love? He's twenty-one to twenty-two. Yeah, seriously. Call him BS. We call him BS. That's a great comeback. That's a victory after Chicago's. Uh, Okay, let's choose our next two teams. That's where it comes down to. Let's go February. No, January. We just finished December. We just finished December. We're heading into January. And uh, there might be some reassessing for a couple deals. So let's pick the two teams. Yep. We got we got to get prepped up for the next month. You guys know how we do it. Matthew's at 31 and 33. I like that. That's back-to-back -back games that we played with him, that we put up two points a game. Your captain has to step up when you're going to win the big games, and that's the expectation here. So now, we're leaving December. We're going to January. Who do we want to take on? I'm going to take on the Pens. I was going to say, I feel like we haven't seen like a St. Louis. I feel like we haven't seen a Colorado. No, we just played Colorado. Did we just play Colorado? Yes. Okay. So, maybe it's like a St. Louis. So then who do you want to play at home? So our home games only have Columbus. Or Edmonton. Or the Kings. Really? Or Edmonton. We have three home games this season. So or this, uh, this month. No. No Kings, so it's Columbus or it's Edmonton. I feel like we haven't played Edmonton, at least not as recent. I'm pretty sure Columbus we did. Okay, so Edmonton so and the Blues? We're going to sim to Edmonton, and then, yeah, either the Blues or the Penguins. Okay. We'll do. I was going to say, we're nothing but West Coasting in nowadays. <laughs> Apparently, this is one of those uh, traveling months. So let's see if the boys can put some wins together here. It would be nice. Maybe pick up a little stock for a couple yep. potential deals. 
Yeah, let's see if uh, the boys can, like, roll their, uh... This is also a little fun little sneak peek here, because I'm switching subjects. Be it that we don't have our first rounder. Yep. Most of the picks in the, like, fourth and onwards are Scandinavian. So, what we do here <laughs> is heavily assess... You adjust. Yes. You adjust. No sense in, like, searching the uh, first round draft picks in the O or the W. Are we sure we don't have a first? I'm, like, 90% sure. Well, I guess we'll find out come uh, draft time in the offseason. Draft time, even when we're reassessing time. So the boys kind of picked it up a bit here. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, there's a shutout. I like what I'm seeing. So it's back-to-back -back losses. If not... only it could be, like, shootout losses, I'd be happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one piece I feel like we're missing. So we're not going to do that because we're going to go take care of our own business. But the Oilers are waiting. The next and one. that's the last one, guys. So next episode... Edmonton Oilers, Matthews puts up 37 and 43. You might see some fresh faces in the lineup. We we're there. Like, we're two points. We're jumping the Canadians and Detroit. So, time will tell, my friend. My time will God. tell. Guys, thanks so much for dropping by again. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're new to the channel, go check out some other MMC series, franchises, episodes oh. we got rolling for you guys. We try and keep the content hot. We try and bring you guys... All the different kind of things going. You got Jeff Millennial going in WWE. We got the Madden franchise, which we know you guys are loving. We got NBA. Of course, we got NHL. We got the Chef versus the Jeff. And then let's not forget about Twitch. That's still a thing. Twitch is still a thing, guys. It's been a little, a little off recently. I know. It's Christmas time, though. It's been tough. Bear with us. It's working full time, but it is coming back. Don't you worry. Especially come baseball time when things slow down for work. That was when we had our peak uh, Twitch time. So you're going to want to follow us there. All the descriptions are below. All of our social media stuff. Chef Tom's rolling around. I don't even know what the hell he's doing. Okay, uh, now, you know, nature's calling. So He's got nature calling. He wants to get some trades going. So let's wrap this up, guys. You know what to do. Hit subscribe. Smash that like button as hard as you possibly can. Ring the bell. Get the notifications on. Ding, 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 ding. That's it. Leave those comments. We love it. Let us know what you guys are thinking about the content. Leave the comments on everything. Give us some tips, hints, tricks, feedback. You know, whatever you guys are feeling, drop the comments. We love reading them. It helps us provide you better stuff and also lets us engage, which leads to our social media stuff. Guys, hit us up on there. We love chit-chatting with you guys. It's almost Christmas time. Who doesn't want some MMC merch? I mean, I do. Do you? You want some? Stay tuned for that new stuff that might drop. Should I, should I put it in your, your stocking or something like this year? No, stocking stuff. Maybe like maybe some, we should do like Christmas ornaments. Like some more mugs in your stocking? Nice. Yeah. We have mugs. Go check out Redbubble, guys. They're a great website. Tons of sales for the holiday season. So go check out the MMC store. Again, link is below. Go get yourself some stuff. Wear it. Use it. Send it to us. We're going to show you some love back on our Facebook page, our Instagram, our Twitter page, all of our social media stuff. And, of course, showing some love to our partners, Clutch Shares, Insane Labs, great products, MMC approved. Go use the promo code. Save yourself some cash there as well. But this is how we're going to end off this episode. We're going to start trading? A little research. A little R&D. Never a bad thing. R&D? From the MMC. I like them apples. Done. Yeah. Mic right? drop. Done.